Hey everybody, welcome to Comfy Chair Gaming. My name is Chris, and today we are taking a look at The Infected. The Infected is an open-world sandbox survival crafting game. Build your base, defend and protect yourself from wildlife and infected vambies. Not zombies, vambies. I took a quick little tutorial mode run-through on this one, and I kind of liked what we were doing after about 20 minutes of doing whatever we were doing. <laughs> so we're going to start a new game after I figure out how to type. I'm going to go with Comfy Chair. So, on this little pop-up you have when you first start, you got your uh, your swarm attack settings. This is what your, your start day for the attacks, how many show up per attack, the frequency after the day 10 when they first start. So day 10, day 13, 16, etc. You can turn it on or turn it off. You're enabling or disabling of wildlife, you're enabling or disabling of enemies themselves, and your saves are either disabled, auto saves or disables, or your auto saves time is every 15 minutes. I said that wrong, but you're smart, you get what I was getting at. When you first jump into the game, you're going to have a nice little starter area that's going to give you everything you need once you can find your initial starter stuff. Holding down F, you bring up this little UI right here. In the bottom left, you have a compass. It tells you where to go. In the bottom right, you have your health, stamina, thirst, proteins, carbs, fats, vitamins, and energy. That's all the typical stuff. Top left or top right, you have your day, your day count and your time, and as long also with your season like march spring stuff like that in the middle are your tutorial tasks gather a stone stick all the other yada yada stuff that's for every single crafting game ever made or survival game ever made starting off you have to find a stone this is probably the hardest part why because you have all of this junk that's just in the way you can't really see it and yes this is your sprint speed i am hauling ass right now i need to try to find a stone what's going to help me do that is going into the game settings Go to options, video, foliage density. We're going to knock that all the way down to low. Hit apply and OK. Resume. And as you can see, most of that stuff is gone. We should be able to find stones a little bit better now. <sighs> There's one. I think it just dropped in. It's funny because you'll be looking and then you'll just see random stones and sticks like that one just pop in. I will need sticks also. So this is an early access game, but that does not mean it's a bad game. It just it needs some polish. And the crafting system is, in my opinion, something that needs a lot of polish. Let me put my system stuff back up, and I'll be right back with you. All right, back up on high settings, because high settings. So here's what I don't like about this thing. Oh, never mind. I can't show you as of right now. But we're going to do this. Put that in there. Craft my stone X, small stone, make myself a stone blade. I'm going to need that in a minute. So pull up number one, Ta -da, come over here, chop myself some, a tree down. All right, after the tree is broken down, you have your three logs. You can pick them all up. Or if you look at it, when it's highlighted like this, hold down right mouse button, click on harvest, and you have some things that come up. You got some sticks, you got five sticks, and you got four firewood that comes up. I need to make a pickaxe. In order to make a pickaxe, I can't remember how to do it. So I go into my itempedia, which is this little dude right here. Highlight pickaxe. It'll tell you what you need. You need one stick, one stone blade, which is what we already crafted, and then two plant fibers. So if I click back on my anvil and, ho and hammer dilly thing right here, I got five sticks, I got my blade, and I got my f and I got five plant fibers. Here's what sucks. Right here, no valid recipe. This is what I don't like about this. So you right click, split one. Okay, I got my one stick. I can't remember how many I needed. I think it was one. Still nothing. So split, whoop, come my plant fiber, split one, split two, get rid of the excess, and now I can craft my stone pickaxe. You have to put the exact number of pieces, parts, in your crafting menu be, to be able to, to craft it. I don't like that. I think that's... I, I don't like that. I think this, the game should be able to know if you have more than you need and just to be subtracting it and deducting it as necessary. But at the moment, that's only... It's kind of like one of the very few things that I'm not really a fan of. Going into that menu right here, from the itempedia, you can also choose things you want to create, craft, like your wooden foundations, a wooden ramp. I need to make one of those because this thing is okay. All right, never mind. <laughs> Wow, that thing's massive. Disregard on that one. Okay, I'm going to try to put a wooden wall. I can't do it yet until it's built, I guess. Okay, so if you're looking at what you want to build, like this platform right here in the bottom left, you got the materials needed, 
I have four. I have zero of four wooden logs and zero of six planks. In order to make planks, I have to make. Go to my placeables. A saw bench. I always make two of them because you're gonna need a lot of planks. That was a pig that was just heard off the off to my left. So I have two logs. That's two of them. Pull up my axe. Chop this dude down. I'm gonna make another blueprint dilly for the other one real quick. Boom, boom, and boom. And I'm gonna actually put it right here, I think. Placeables, saw bench. Put it right there. Cool. Now I'm gonna come over here, finish off this one. Put my one into this one. And get one more. So I still find myself going back to the tutorial stuff to find out what I need to put that on there. Best part is, it does it on its own. I don't even need to do anything for it after I put it on there. It's the fact that I have so many planks that are needed at first, up front, just to do stuff. It's absolutely insane. Planks come out the front, and they stack on their own. They only go to so far. I'm going to pull out this. Each stone node that you see is going to give you a different type of ore or metal. In this case, this is just give me stone and probably two copper ingots. Not ingots. Copper ore. If I'm lucky. Alright, I need to build a campfire. So I'm going to again go into here, go to placeables, click on food. There's my campfire. Put it some place away. You'll see why I have to put it a little bit away in a second. Go back into here and I have to put it under a shelter. So placeables, other, and this one shelter. We'll try to give it a little bit of room so that way later I can put in my stack my stack for the firewood. So storage firewood stack. That was way too close. Whatever. It's fine. Got my ten stones. I got only four firewood in there. I can come okay I need to go grab another stone or not a stone. I need to grab another log. Collect that, collect that, harvest this last one. One, two, three, and four, and how many sticks can I pick up? All of them, nice. Come over here, put my last four in there, put those in there. I don't have any more firewood to put in there at the moment, which is okay. Come over here, drop off, well, we'll just do, yeah, we'll get the planks going. I want to get as many planks rolling as I can because those are kind of a necessity. The next thing I'm going to try to do is build a spear. Again, I forgot, so go into Itempedia, hollow the spear. We have one stone blade, three sticks, and five fiber. Make sure you get it right. <laughs> you, stone blade, pow, stone blade over, stick in there, and I would just do this one, and I just split them inside the crafting menu. It's kind of tedious, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do to survive. And this is what we're going to do. Okay, my right now, in this UI up here, up top, we have our backpack. In the middle one is our food, and it's also going to show you your health and all that stuff. This is your tools and weapons. This is Itopedia, all that stuff. What does this one do? This is my me. <laughs> I have my armor and all the other stuff on, if I have pants or whatever. This is all the technology blueprints that I have not found yet. Those are in the towns where all the Vambies are at. Excuse me, where all the Vambies are at is where you find those at, because, you know, obviously. So I'm going to go back into this one real quick. Exit out of there. Hack at this thing. Pick up as many of these as I can. I need to get my forge rolling as fast as possible because... Am I out covered? I am not. Nice. I need to get my forge going as fast as possible, but I also need to have a platform to place it on, because I don't think you can put it on the ground, so... Oops, I got ahead of myself there. Alright, I'm going to find these little stones right here. I'm just going to drop as many as I can, and hopefully they don't despawn by the time I come back for them, because they do despawn. Okay, I need to get back to chopping more logs and building this stuff up. Oop. 
All right, if you want to pull everything out of your inventory that you have, or that like the inventory, but if you want to pull things out of there, it is not E to pull it out. It is left, or excuse me, it is right click to pull those out of there. One log is going to get you two planks. I might just stick with a two by two to begin with, just because it's a lot easier to mess with. I'm going to put, no, you know what, you know what, you know, you know I don't want to put just anything. I want to put my windows here because I want to see the water. It'd be nice. And I'll put regular walls here. I do like that I can do this, but, you know, it's it's one of those helping you to build things, and I do enjoy that aspect, though. One more. Boom. And now, the same thing with uh, the walls beforehand. I can't try to... Or the same thing with the ceilings as, as it is with the walls beforehand. I can't put... I can't put a blueprint for the ceilings when I don't have a wall yet. It's obvious, but, you know. You know how it is. Okay, uh, need to go into placeables. Other? Yes. Storage. 25 small stones. Get your punk ass in there. Gotta rotate it with the scroll wheel. I'm gonna put you right chow and put one right next to it. I know that's 50 stones and it's a lot, but it's also a necessity because you need to make an ingot towards the end of this and I am ridiculously encumbered right now. Oops. Come on. I don't think I can actually uh, get in there this way. Oh, I can jump. Nice. I'm going to try to build this one first. Oh, only 16. Son of a biscuit. Alright, I'm going to drop this uh, copper ore right there at the inside of it, I guess. <laughs> because why not? I'll try that again. Alright, that'll work. Ooh, that's a raccoon. I hate those things. Okay, another thing that I have to do, where are we at? So, we have done our first beginning stuff, made our campfire. I need to find carbs, wouldn't you know it? Uh, and hunt for proteins, build a forge, working on that right now, and make an iron ingot. The reason I'm trying to push along making the walls and the ceiling so fast is because I need to get the roof on before it starts raining. It always starts raining. It always rains a lot in this game, from what I've noticed also. So I need to start really getting along on this uh, wall. Okay, I got those. I just need my planks. I also need to get I need to get my shelter over the fireplace also built so that I can get that continued to go and not go out. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I think it's four for that one. I think. Is this a watermelon? Oh, it's a stone. Dang it. It gets me almost every time. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, I think those had enough logs, right? Yes, I have enough logs. I just need to plank, and then I can build the... I can put the blueprint on there for... Okay, I got four. Cool, and coming into here, grab my ceiling. Did I put it? It did. All right, cool. Put you down. All right. I'm going to go try to grab this big tree right here because this tree should give me a lot of logs to play with and I can use them to either build other walls or I can put them in the sawhorse or sawmill saw thing. <laughs> still only carry three at a time and that's why I want to try to move as quick as I can try to unlock the uh... oh, I thought I heard a bear it was the... <laughs> what <laughs> can I get it I cannot get it okay one, two. One, two. Alright, we have the four planks. I just need the three... Uh, the three logs. That's going to be kind of a pain. I really need to... You know what? Let's see if I can just throw these in there. Cool. If you want to drop everything that you're carrying like that, you have to... Uh, you have to hit a uh, right mouse button. And it'll just drop everything you have. You can't drop individual ones. Uh, the thing about this spear, this thing is like a bullet, as far as drop goes. And by that, I mean there isn't any. <laughs> so there's no drop when you're throwing this. So it's it's gonna go in a straight line. <laughs> I was trying to account for drop when I was throwing it at a raccoon once, and it went over its head by like three miles. <laughs> How fat! All right, I'm gonna be checking back and forth, trying to. Uh, Make sure I don't get too encumbered, because I really do want to maintain my ability to run and just get there fast. 
So, gimme that, yeah. Okay, hop into here. Grab my bark. Throw you in there. I need to grab my stone. Even though I have the iron ore, or the copper ore, I need to try and make iron ore. Or iron ingot is going to be my main goal here. It is five iron fragments, and that's what you get from... That's freaky. You get five iron fragment. You get one iron fragment for every stone that you put into the, the forge. And you need five iron ingots, or five iron fragments to make one iron ingot. Damn, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Forty nine point one five. I think this is probably gonna be far enough. So far, we're making really good time. I was trying to get this done before the end of the day, and I think the day ends at twenty two hundred, just like it does in most of these other kinds of games. Which I'm okay with that. Like I don't have any. I got nothing against it. Follow the formula that works, right? Nothing that says you have to re reinvent the wheel. If it works, it works. I'm okay with that. What I do like about that pond, though, is there's a bunch of fish in there. There's trout. There's tuna, somehow. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. There are tuna in that pond. I'll see if I can find one. When we get back. 44. 46. 48. Ah, okay, so even though I'm 0.15 over, it's still going to make it so I can't run. Same thing with this one, although now I don't have anything to put in there, so I don't have any fuel for it, so I gotta back out, put this stuff down here, hope it doesn't despawn. Find some sticks, trees, what time we got? Almost six. Let's see if I can get at least another wall or two built. Actually, I need to jump in the, uh... Alright, I have those. Alright, I'm gonna pull out three. Hop in the tuna pond over here. Oh, I can't see anything, so you probably can't see anything either. I'm just gonna swim and stab, and hopefully I hit something. Oh, trout! Trout! Got the trout! Jesus, that took forever. I do like the animation of it on there. Minus the fact it's not actually stabbing into it. <laughs> okay, the, the reason I hate this stupid raccoon is because the raccoon takes your fish. Look at that, that's a nice trout right there, sir. I didn't want to pick you up. What did the harvest you, sir? This one. Harvest, and I should get... Check the feet. The feet. Check the, the food thing. Alright, let's go into here. Not what I wanted to do. Go into here, there's nothing in there as far as... No, there is. Not very much. Drop my feet. My food. My future food next to it. Grab the lighter, light it up, and then boom, we got food cooking. I am really thirsty, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, I just emptied my canteen, so I have to come over to the water side. Can fill it up. Come back over to the campfire. Go into that one. Drag it. Drop it. Now it's going to make that water clean. It can hold up to 300, and the last time I went through this, I had... A double shot of canteen in there, which I really enjoyed because I didn't have to worry about it so much. It's going to start it over again, but I'm okay with that. Alright, what are we looking at? I think... Alright, so we got one iron fragment, two iron fragments. Did I pull it up? I did. That's not even on because I don't have the stuff. Okay, let me grab some wood. And I'll grab some actual firewood for it. Drag. Drop. Drag. Drop. Lighter. Turn it on. This one. Put you in there. Do I have any more stones around? I do, 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 do. I don't know why I grabbed all three of those. I don't have room for all three of those. <laughs> Alright, grab that, or drop that one. Just put it right there. Back over here so I 
No, did you go out? You did. Are you cooked? You are cooked. Good. The fire went out, but at least the meat was cooked. Get my proteins. Alright. Now I need to try to find something like a watermelon or a cucumber or even some corn. Typically, that's around, just randomly around somewhere. Time we got. There's seven. I have to find some carbs and make an iron ingot. All these are in progress. You can find little melons around. You can find watermelons around. You can find one solitary corn stalk. It all depends on how lucky you are. Oh, I think I found a cucumber. Yep, cucumber. Boom. Found our carbs. How are we looking on carbs anyway? We're okay. I'll save it for a little bit later. And then we're going to hop back over here. But I'm going to grab some logs first. Because other stuff to build, you know? Okay, that's three of three. Oh, I gotta grab these logs that are over here. I totally forgot about these logs. It's a good thing my dude's not getting struck by lightning while he's standing out here in the middle of this wide open field. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the rating in this game. I've been watching many people play this and the rating just looks like a lot of fun but just like all everything else there is a downside I'm right, we'll put you in here just want to worry about you five small sticks can I put you in here oh, what do we got iron fragment that's two or that's three that's four come to the other side get out of this inventory thank you iron fragment that's five sweet Put you right back in there. Get it going. Uh, grab the stone, and we'll put you in there too. On the other side. Ooh, I think the copper ore despawned. Or did I put it in here? Nope, it's gone. Well, bummer. All right, I'm gonna come into here. Since I don't need this right now, I'm gonna. It's empty. Disregard. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna use my clean water. Come over here. Get myself some wowda. Jump. Missed it. Go into the inventory. Pull out the food. And we're going to put you out with my dirty water. It only uses one to put out fire, so that's okay. Um, let's empty this then. And then refill it with some clean water. And we'll take a drink. Nice. Alright, what do I need? Planks. Planks. Planks and logs. Okay. Let's see if I can put as many planks in here as I can to make my walls. Damn it. Uh, I'm actually making pretty good time on this. Get closer. Thank you. Cool. Alright, cool. I'm gonna have a nice little 2 by 2 Oh, wait a minute. Hi there. How long have you been there? <laughs> Get in there, get in there. Boom, we made it. Ha ha, and stuff. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna break down this one, get some more firewood. Click you. Oh, can't pick any of the firewood up. Ah! Oh, it's already lit. Well, let's light it again, why not? Yeah, put it in there. Cool. I think. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna light my campfire. Crouch a little bit. I think that deserves some firewood. <laughs> and some sticks. <laughs> and some more sticks. Cool beans. Let's light it up. Boom. Well, that is actually a new record for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, that's going to do it for this initial look at the infected. Again, my name is Chris for Comfy Chair Gaming. You can find me on Twitter at Comfy Chair Gamer. 
I hope to see you on the next episode of either this or whatever it is that I put out, and I appreciate you stopping by. Take care. Thank you.